Greetings, welcome back to Signature Sense. My name is Ryan and today we continue the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Smell Test Series with their homage to the original Parasso Green called Awesome Sauce. Parasso Green, or Parasso the company, was started in Italy around 1908 and Parasso Green is supposed to be an Italian barbershop scent that's very, very fresh. And I personally don't have any memories of smelling this, so this is going to be my first time. I'm going to give you my initial reaction. We're going to do this in four stages. Stage number one, we're going to smell it on the bottle and see what we can pick up. Stage number two, we're going to put some on a tester and smell it off the paper and see how the scent develops. Number three, we're going to spray some on skin and get an initial reaction. And number four, I'm going to leave and spend some time with it and get an idea of its projection, its performance, what, how the scent develops in the dry down. And then I'll share my final thoughts and also what's coming up in the future videos. Okay, so let's kick this off with the smell on the bottle. Okay, ball. so real quick, before I open this bottle up, I did want to put one thing in here that the inspiration for this gentleman who created this was, he really loved the classic Fouget barbershop smell of the Parasso Green, but he said that it was just too much of a skin scent for him, the original aftershave, so he wanted to give this stuff a little bit more oomph so it lasted longer. Now, if you've watched my past smell tests on the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, these aftershaves slash EDCs perform very, very well for what they are. They are all natural, and um, this guy even diffuses his own oils to make these. They are very fresh, crisp, and clean, and this one in particular is supposed to be very, very crisp. So let's go ahead and, and give this a shot. This is about a one mil bottle. Got some on my fingers, so that's gonna give me a nice impression. And again, this is $1 for this sample. Highly recommend if you're drawing any of these scents to go ahead and give these a shot. I'm not affiliated or I'm not in a partnership with them. I just really like to promote them. I've been very, very impressed. Okay, I'm already getting smells of it. Wow. Why is that nice? What is that? There's something here that reminds me of something else I have memory of. Okay, so just like the other ones, the, the natural, crisp, clean smell of these beautiful essential oils is very very prominent it's just it smells like the guy took the ingredients and just squeezed them in the bottle and shook it up and like here it delivered to you like that's what it smells like so out of the top it's not as minty and menthol as i thought it would be originally it's sort of got this very nice green fougere smell not like uh, one that's punching you in the nose subdued but very crisp it's very, very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on some paper and see how this profile develops. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put some on the paper and see how the scent further develops. So yeah, on paper, it's a green and then it has a tinge, a very small tinge of lavender. So this one is more green. The floral aspect of it is way, is in the background and you get it as a very gentle peripheral so far. This is the opening. Okay, now, woo. Oh, man, the eucalyptus. I feel like my eyes might start watering. There's that eucalyptus minty menthol -y scent that's coming up. It's kind of like mushroom cloud. Men the menthol mintiness eucalyptus is really kind of uh, building as, it, as the scent kind of dries down. Like my nose, you've ever heard of brain freeze? I feel like my nose has a freeze. Like it's it's starting about here in the nostrils and I can feel it from like here to here of this uh, tingly coolness in my nose. The menthol is starting to die, uh, not die, but starting to give way a little bit. It's not like so much in your face. And you have a nice green, slightly woody. It's kind of reminiscent a little bit of ISO Super E, but it doesn't smell quite the same it, it has it's in that same sort of gentle fleshy wood scent not fleshy is the wrong word but like a like it smells almost like it would if when you put it on your skin it would like become your skin that kind of woodiness it's not like a pencil shaving very very gentle okay let's go ahead and stop there i'm gonna take this now from the paper onto my skin and give my initial reaction Okay, so we have our bottle fill, and I don't know if this is going to pick up on camera. It looks clear. When, you're lo when I'm looking at this here, I can see a very slight tinge of greenish blue. Now this guy uses all natural, he's not using coloring, so 
that's really a testament to how the concentration is definitely not aftershave it's uh closer edc and even maybe edt for some people very very nice so i'm gonna go ahead and get a spray on the skin now i predict that after the initial menthol -y blast which i'm assuming is going to happen that whatever that woody green note that was i've been picking up is going to project more okay pretty nice wet spot there I'm going to go ahead and put it on my, ooh, that's nice. I'm going to put it on my, uh, below my ear. Wow. Okay, I'm already getting a talkiness that wasn't there before in the air. Very fresh. It, this is super fresh. Like, this is one, if you wake up in the morning, you take a shower, and you spray this stuff on, you're going to feel invigorated, man. There's a minty, you got the eucalyptus, you got the menthol. You got this nice greenness, a very fresh green, not a grassy green, a slight woodiness in the bottom of it, and maybe maybe a tinge of floral. And there is a gentle talkiness to it that I, I predict that this talkiness is going to develop and become a little bit more prominent once the opening dies down. It's not a prominent talkiness. This is a talc that's in the supporting cast in the sense, meaning that if you weren't like looking for it, you might not smell it. It's sort of wrapped into this um, peripheral. So up the nose is kind of green, menthol, a little floral, a little woody. And then at the, at the outside of that, you're getting a little bit of the talc on the peripheral. So I'm going to come back and check in with you a little bit. Okay, I am back and I have some really, really cool information to share about this scent. The awesome sauce. Okay, so... What's going on with the scent? So far, it's performing exactly like the other ones. So this is gonna be about a four to five. You might even be able to stretch this to six hours on the skin, depending on your chemistry. This one is the most dramatic of the other ones I have tested previously. Dramatic in the sense of the way that the scent changes as it dries down. The other ones, once you get past that open, they're kind of pretty much linear for the most part. This one actually has some stages to it. So what happens is, after the initial blast of the camphor eucalyptus kind of green like mintiness with that undercurrent of benzoin. Benzoin is, it's like a resinous, subtly sweet, not sugary sweet, like a, a woody sweet resin smell to it. Okay, so the next phase after the opening, it continues to dry down and then the benzoin takes the center stage. The benzoin is guided by this greenish, green-like lavender note on the top, which is kind of the first initial thing that registers, but it's a subtle. It's not like, hey, I'm a green lavender note. It's more like when you're smelling the benzoin, which is what's being painted at this stage, you get a little bit of the green lavender, very, very subtle. And underneath the benzoin, you have a very, very subtle woodsy-like accord. It's very, very subtle. In the air, you're getting benzoin. If you're just kind of wafting, you're not getting, you're getting benzoin with maybe a small tinge of the lavender, but it all paints this benzoin to create a kind of a unique benzoin. And then lavender kind of goes away, and then the benzoin starts to become more vanilla-like. It's, it's a definitely a balance of the resinous, subtly sweet, incense-like benzoin with a nice, healthy dose of vanilla so it, when you're smelling it they're kind of together now i don't know if this is the kind of benzoin this gentleman is using where it becomes vanilla like as it continues to dry down when i looked up the, the note listing there wasn't any vanilla listed so i don't know it, may, it must be the benzoin so at this stage the benzoin starts to become vanilla like and then it gets really cool because all of a sudden you get this little talciness that emerges now the talciness is starting to become more prominent and then eventually the benzoin continues to go to this vanilla and then there's like a little bit of like a cinnamony type of spice to it. And again, I didn't see any cinnamon, I didn't see any spices listed, but I can tell you the accords is like a that resiny benzoin, vanilla-like cinnamon, and then talcy. The way that that's blended together, it's kind of like on some of the wafts, I'm getting like a, a talc that's being painted, and other of the wafts, it's the benzoin that's being painted. It's kind of this nice swirling thing. And this was my favorite stage of the dry down. And this part starts to happen about one hour after you spray it on. The benzoin calms down. It starts to get the vanilla like accord. And then this, that little cinnamon spice accord kind of or note comes in there. And the talciness comes in there. And this creates this very, very nice scent. Now, before you get there, 
it's almost a little gourmandish. Honestly, that benzoin, it's a slightly gourmandish type of vibe. But at this stage, at about an hour in, it's very, very nice, talky, a little sweet, and it's very pleasant. This is a excellent fall winter scent. Very, very, the opening is versatile. It can be used at any time, very fresh, but it's, it's a fall uh, uh, winter scent. The dry down on the paper is much, much different than on my skin. And I say much different, it's extremely different. It's almost two different scents. It smells like the benzoin all by itself, but toned way, way down. It smells like the scent has evaporated more off the paper than it has my skin. It's definitely my skin really agrees with this stuff. I have to say um, my chemistry is really rocking this stuff. It is churning and burning. Give me a nice profile. The, the scent profile on this stuff is really, really cool and much more interesting off my skin than this. This is the the benzoin all by itself no vanilla no no cinnamon type of stuff it's just like a, a very simple basic benzoin a little bit of green lavender greenish like lavender on top and a almost unnoticeable woodsy cord like when i say woodsy this is like and this is this goes for the skin too the woodsy i'm saying is not like pencil shaving this is like an iso super e woodsy very uh subtle gentle clean a uh, nice wood smell that I, which I personally really like the ISO Super E. So that's my take off the paper. Very, very nice performance again for this aftershave EDC. Very impressed. I will say, while I didn't get any compliments, I did get the courage to go and approach a nice, beautiful young female at the bookstore. A lot of beautiful women happened to go there, and I, I happened to go up to this one that I saw. She did have a boyfriend already, so she was very flattered. She said, so hey, you know, maybe it gives you that extra little charm, a little bit of sweetness. I think it's a, I do think it is evolved into this very playful scent. It does kind of remind me a little bit of sort of the, the modern formulation kind of like date night scents, but the difference here is it's not synthetic. It still has a nice, I don't want to say crisp, but something like a very fresh, it's not a normal benzoin, it's more of a fresh. It's not a synthetic benzoin, it's a fresh, clean benzoin. And, and all the other chords I was describing, it's a very, very clean, and why I really, really love this stuff. I think this scent at this stage is versatile enough for anybody to wear it. Any age group could pull this off. I didn't think any gender could pull this off. Um, I think this is definitely more masculine, um, but females who like to wear men's stuff, and, and even then it still kind of could be a little bit feminine, but it's not floral or anything like that, or I think the feminine would be coming of, of this touch of sweetness and a little touch of gourmandus. But hey, it's, it's, a, it's sort of very versatile, which is kind of cool. I think at this stage, this could be a date time, like, uh, or Netflix and chill, if you want to say, like a, a close, intimate scent that is quite attractive at this point. So I really like this stuff. I'll have to sit with it more. I think this is definitely up there for me for looking for like a, a, a date night sort of spicy kind of intimate scent. The scent bubble is, you know, at this point about two hours, I would say it's probably a little bit shorter than arms, maybe like a half of arms uh, around me. So I really like it. I think it's worth trying if you're in the market for that kind of thing. Totally caught me by surprise. I thought this was going to be an Italian barbershop scent. And this guy really just took this stuff and tweaked it. I think you get that Italian barbershop in the opening, but once those fresh notes, which is kind of characteristic of my interpretation of what Parasso is supposed to be, this kind of minty, eucalyptus, menthol-y kind of fresh scent that sits very close and doesn't last very long, which is what the beginning is. And the way that he gives that longevity is through this heart and uh, base of this benzoin, woodsy, sort of vanilla-esque, a little bit cinnamony sort of um, core. So, I like it, I recommend it. I think it's worth giving a sample at the very least. May not want to blind buy it, um, but I would definitely give it a sample. So I'm gonna end it here. I thank you very much for watching. I wanna remind you that we have some really cool scents coming up. We still have the Vintage Polo Sport formulation by this company. We have the Vintage Brute, the Vintage Old Spice, the Vintage Old Spice Fresh. We have their version and take on a 60s barbershop scent. We have their take on a green fougere and what that's supposed to smell like, all in this very natural, crisp, clean way, this style that they have, which I am totally digging. Okay, 
So give me a like if you like this video. Leave me a comment below what you thought, what were your favorite parts, what you didn't like, anything you like to share. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget, waft kindness to others. God bless.